This is the Herbert Hoover Dyke Reach One Gap Closure Project located on Lake Okeechobee in Southeast Florida. This project was awarded to Trevi Icos by the United States Army Corps of Engineers. The purpose of the gap closure project is to close the gaps between the existing cutoff walls and existing structures. In order to achieve this, two types of cutoff wall technologies were implemented for this project. The first type of technology utilized was the jet grout cutoff wall against the structures. Due to the local geology here in South Florida, the jet grout cutoff wall was divided into two phases, pre-drilling and jet grouting. The SR-75 was mobilized in order to complete the pre-drilling elements. The purpose of pre-drilling is to eliminate the strong porous rock layer down below. Upon completion of the pre-drilling elements, the SR-30 was mobilized to prepare for drilling and jet grouting. The SR-30 drilled down to design depth and verified the verticality using the Shape Array SAS scan. The verticality was used to ensure minimum width was maintained per specifications. After verticality was verified, the operator would then proceed installing either elliptical or cylindrical jet grout elements. The second type of technology utilized was the self-hardening slurry, or SHS. The SHS was also divided into two phases. After the clamshell excavated down to the rock layer, the hydromill would then take its place to continue excavation down to design depth through the rock layer. Once excavation was complete, the drilling mate system, or DMS, would be checked to ensure minimum overlap was maintained between panels. One of the main challenges presented by this project was the logistics between project sites. These project sites were separated as far as 30 miles apart from one another. Experienced personnel were utilized during the mobilization, demobilization, as well as operating heavy equipment at each project site. This was achieved successfully without compromising safety as per the no lost time accidents recorded throughout the completion of the project.